now this is a lecture 13 in signals and systems so in this lecture i am going to solve problems on differentiation and integration of the given signals right so the first one we will see this one now this is a triangular signal but it is ended with a 2 if it is something like this you can follow the same procedure now when i want to differentiate this signal so what we need to do so this is first we will see the differentiation of signals differentiation now we need to find d by dt of x of t so i am assuming as y of t now i cannot directly differentiate first we need to find what is the function of this and what is the function of here now to find this one so we need to find the points first so this is i already suppose it is 1 so 1 comma 1 this is 2 comma 0 now between 0 less than t less than 1 from 0 to 1 what are the points 0 comma 0 and 1 comma 1 so x1 y1 x2 y2 we know how to find y minus y1 that is y1 is 0 by x is the time axis t minus 0 see y means this is the y axis so x of t or we can say uh, I'm, okay so this should be x of t not f of t so x of t minus 0 so y2 minus y1 1 minus 0 by 1 minus 0 x of t is nothing but t now between 0 to t if i integrate uh, differentiate so d by dt of t will get 1 so 1 from 0 less than t less than 1 so up to 1 is over next 1 less than t less than 2 now points are 1 comma 1 2 comma 0 so remember up to here it is this line next this is the line so first points will be this so this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 similarly x of t minus 1 x minus y minus y1 by x minus x1 is equal to 0 y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so what is this we will get minus 1 so if this is going that side x of t minus 1 is equal to minus t plus 1 minus 1 is if it is going that side it will become minus t plus 2 this is 1 less than t less than 2 now we have to verify is this correct or wrong suppose if i substitute 1 here i will get minus 1 plus 2 means 1 so the 1 is satisfied similarly if i substitute 2 it is 0 so it is also satisfied so this is minus t plus 2 now similarly if i differentiate this one d by dt of x of t so it will become what minus 1 plus 0 so the slope we can say this is minus t integration is minus 1 so this is a constant we will get so it is 1 less than t less than 2 now between 0 to t we got 1 and uh, 0 to 1 we got 1 1 to 2 we got minus 1 so i will draw the waveform so for this given waveform this is t 1 2 0 this is x of t so after integration differentiation that is y of t what we will get 0 to 1 we got 1 from 1 to 2 we got minus 1 right so this is about the differentiation right type of signals so for a triangular signal if you uh, differentiate we will get rectangular pulse right now this is the first question next we will see this question that is x of t is equal to u of t minus u of t minus 5 right so x of t is equal to u of t minus u of t minus 5 if i draw this waveform so i will draw like this u of t means like this 0 1 this is u of t and u of t minus 5 it is from shifted version from 5 so this is a t now now we have to uh, subtract this u of t minus 5 from the u of t so if you see from 0 to 5 we will get 1 from 5 to uh, infinity so here 1 here also 1 we will get 0 so for this expression what I will get is <coughs> here I will write for that one 0 to 5 and this is t this is the x of t right now how to differentiate this one now I told you 
whenever there is a discontinuity from 0 to 1 first give the arrows right directions now here from at 0 we are having a discontinuity up to 1 so when I differentiate this one d by dt of x of t what I will get an impulse with a area 1 or amplitude as 1 similarly if this if you see this one this is a constant so we will get 0 now if you see here here where is a discontinuity and the amplitude is 1 so we will get a negative pulse which is minus 1 at 5 so this is the differentiation of this signal <coughs> so they will give either waveform or they will give some expression so u of t plus u of t plus 1 etc etc then first we draw the waveform then give the directions then wherever the discontinuity is there we will get amplitudes like this <coughs> next one we will see this is a simple one so suppose x of t is equal to delta t how to differentiate this one so we know that delta t is 1 at 0 or you can say area is 1 but amplitude is infinity now if we differentiate the uh, delta c again i told you whenever there is a discontinuity we will get discontinuity so nothing but d by dt of x of uh, t which is equal to d by dt of delta t again we will get delta t only so differentiation of delta t will get delta t right similarly x of t is equal to delta t minus delta t minus 1 <coughs> so what is this delta t means 0 delta t minus 1 means at 1 we will get the amplitude as 1 this is t this is t this is 1 if i subtract these two what we will get delta t and at 1 we are having 1 but there is a negative sign right so we will get the opposite like this minus 1 1 now again if i differentiate this one so this is x of t if i differentiate this one again we will get the impulses only d by dt of x of t <coughs> So if you integrate, uh, differentiate the impulse functions, we will get impulse functions only again. So there is no change, right? So that's law. This is the last one. We will see r of t minus r of t minus one. Now we know r of t is like this, right? Ramp function. This is r of t. What is r of t minus one? So it is shifted by one. So it will be like this. T. This is r of t minus 1 at 0 sorry at 1 we will get 0 at 2 we will get 1 at 3 we will get 2 etc but here at 1 we will get 1 at 2 we will get 2 now if i subtract these two what is the waveform we will get <coughs> now so from 0 to 1 we will get a ramp like this this is the x of t i am drawing now if you see from 2 to c here 2 means 2 but here 2 means 1 so 2 minus 1 1 only so that means at 2 we are getting 1 right next at 3 here 3 means here 3 only but here 3 means 2 so 3 minus 2 1 so it will be a constant signal after this you can verify so at 1 0 to 1 it is a slope is there after this it will become constant right now now if i integrate or what you call differentiate so with this is we know r of t is a function is t then after this we are getting a constant yes or no so for constant what we will get zero but if i differentiate t we will get one so d by dt of x of t what you will get we will get like this zero to one we will get a triangle uh, rectangular pulse this is the differentiation of this x of t now another method <coughs> so r of t minus r of t minus 1 this is the x of t now if i differentiate ramp signal remember if i differentiate ramp signal i will get unit step function right so ramp signal is this one if i differentiate d by dt of x of t in place of r of t we will get u of t minus in place r of t minus 1 we will get u of t minus 1 what is this signal it is nothing but 0 to 1 only because rectangular pulse so by this also we can uh, differentiate by, by directly here <coughs> right so that is about the differentiation
next we'll see integrating the following signals right now the moment if you see the impulse right at 1 if I integrate x of t what I will get as from that impulse we will get a constant like this right this is the integration of x of t I'm assuming some y of t <coughs> so remember whenever there is the impulse we will get a constant like this r integration of delta t we will get u of t unit step when I in differentiate u of t I will get delta t if I integrate delta t I will get u of t <coughs> similarly if I integrate u of t I will get ramp signal similarly if I differentiate a ramp I will get u of t so you can remember this pair and this pair right now <coughs> what happens to this one so this is the one now we have to integrate so I told you this I can write very simply x of t is equal to u of t minus u of t minus 1 now what is this so integration of x of t that is integration of u of t will get ramp minus integration of u of t again will get r of t minus 1 yes, just now we have seen this is the signal so what I will get something like this this is the after integration right so same thing I have uh, applied here so if I integrate x of t that is integration of delta t what I will get u of t or this is the del of t now if I integrate I told you whenever there is impulse so integration of this delta t what you will get up here it is a constant so this is the u of t or we can say integration of x of t right similarly what about this one x of t is equal to u of t <coughs> so u of t so integration of u of t what we will get a ramp signal so the signal will be like this right this is t this is r of t so very simple one now, next we will see the integration of the this signal so that is rectangular signal now we have solved this type of signal for differentiation so how to solve this step is again we need to find the function from 0 to 1 similarly what is the ex equation or expression here Sim same way we will find 1 comma 1 2 comma 0 I already found that is x of t is equal to t 0 less than t less than 1 similarly minus t plus 2 from 1 less than t less than 2 now how to verify if I substitute 0 here you will get 0 if I substitute 1 here I will get 1 here similarly 1 to 2 if I substitute 1 here 2 minus 1 I will get 1 similarly if I substitute 2 I will get 0 right so why I have gone now directly means we have solved in the first when we solved it for the differentiation now how to integrate so if I integrate x of t between 0 to 1 that is integration of t so what I will get t square by t so this is dt dt so t square by 2 between 0 less than t less than 1 similarly if I integrate x of t dt between 1 to 2 so that is integration of minus t plus 2 dt so what is the integration of x x square by 2 so minus t square by 2 plus 2 into constant means we will get t. it is between 1 less than t less than 2 so this is from 0 to 1 this is from 1 to 2 now how to draw the waveforms this is t so if I assume y of t is equal to integration of x of t dt so this is 1 this is 2 from 0 to 1 this is a parabolic right now if I substitute 1 I will get 1 by 2 as 0.5 suppose it is like 0.5 then the waveform should be like this right at 0.5 what I will get 0 so 0.5 is 1 by 8 so it's like a 0.125 so it is a rising function now from 1 to 2 what is the values we will see if I substitute 1 here so it is minus 1 by 2 plus 2 so it is 1.5 so 
see 1.5 is somewhere here suppose it is 1.5 so from here to here I have to join like this then from 1 to 2 it will be a raising function somewhat like this right well, the reason is see suppose if I substitute 1 I got 1.5 suppose if I substitute 2 at t equal to 2 so it is minus 2, 2 square by 2 plus 2 into 2 so minus 2 plus 4 which is 2 right so at a 2 t equal to 2 we should get 2 now if I substitute 1.5 so is it a raising or like this we have to see at t equal to 1.5 what is the value minus my 1.5 square and the minus is there by 2 plus 2 into 1.5 so approximately we will get 1.875 so it will be something like this it is not like this right so it is the waveform right here so this is the diff integration of the this rectangle uh, what you call triangular signal right so this is a ramp and this is a ramp now if i integrate ramp what i will get parabolic curve so parabolic right so that is this if i differentiate parabolic parabolic signal what i will get a ramp signals so this is a pair of the parabolic and ramp signals right this is about the integration and differentiation of the given signals right so if you are having any doubt or any uh, mistake if I did so you please post a comment below this video right so I hope you got some idea about the how to do the differentiation and integration right.